organizations like Kaiser and other uh, health programs uh, perform a wonderful service. And if you uh, injure yourself, you break your wrist, you cut your arm open, absolutely go to those people and get your body fixed. They're, uh, they're a body repair shop and they repair bodies very well. And, uh, and it's very important that their services are available. And if you notice a lump or a pain, absolutely they're there for diagnosis and, and treatment from time to time. Um, however, when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle, um, that's really up to each one of us. Uh, and unfortunately, many times uh, the doctors are so focused on disease repair that uh, if you're not bleeding or running a fever, they really don't have much to offer you. So I would ask uh, your physician, uh, are they aware of the benefits of nutrition? If, say, if you have high cholesterol, ask them what they would do. If they say, oh, I'm going to put you on statins. Uh, rather than talk to you about your diet, then you probably want to keep looking for a doctor who uh, would be willing to talk to you about your diet and your lifestyle as well. So if you have a problem with your automobile, find a good mechanic and get your car fixed. Uh, if you've got a problem with your body, go, go to Kaiser and place, get that body part fixed. Uh, but don't rely on them for health guidance. They're basically a, an acute injury repair service and uh, it's up to each one of us to educate ourselves for proper diet and lifestyle practices and uh, use those uh, type of acute care services for acute care only. Most people know what to do these days. They know that they should be eating a healthy diet, they know they should be exercising, they know they shouldn't be subjecting themselves to excessive stress. Uh, it's a matter of having the courage to deal with those areas of your life that you know need to be changed and to make those changes and to use the medical profession like any other uh, agency that has uh, information and advice to give. Uh, if you want to plan a trip somewhere, you go talk to a travel agent or someone who's been there. And uh, if you have a condition about your body, uh, you go talk to your physician. The word doctor comes from the same Greek word as doctrine, it means a teacher. And doctors are basically in their best nature teachers. And so go to your physician, get the information that you feel that you need. But your doctor can't live your life for you. Uh, you have to do that on a daily basis. So uh, get the information you need, but then act on it with courage and conviction. A number of things uh, made my career go towards more preventive medicine and nutritionally based medicine. I was training to be an anesthesiologist and day after day people would lay on my operating table and I would watch surgeons open them up. Uh, and remove yellow plaque from the arteries. It was largely the fat of the animals these people are eating. And I realized that a true physician gets at the basic causes of disease rather than just patching up the symptoms. So I left anesthesia and returned back to general practice. And at the same time, I had undergone a personal evolution uh, where I wanted to remove the violence from my life on all levels. And uh, one night I was pontificating to a friend over a steak dinner about wanting to get the violence out of my life. And he pointed out that I should start with that big piece of meat on my plate because I'm paying for the death of an animal by buying that steak. And I realized he was right, and uh, so from that point on, I became a vegan, mostly out of ethical convi convictions. However, uh, the health benefits became immediately evident. A 20-pound spare tire of fat around my waist melted away. My blood pressure had been 150 over 90, dropped down to 110 over 70. And I felt great waking up in a nice, lean, light body every day. And so I started sharing that with my medical patients and I saw the profound effect it had. Uh, uh, people with high blood pressure were able to get off their blood pressure pills. People with uh, type 2 diabetes got off their insulin. And medicine became fun. It's, uh, it's the highest form of sculpture. It's the highest form of artwork I know uh, to help people uh, truly let their healthier selves emerge. Uh, the human being is a great canvas to work on. And uh, so I've really enjoyed the last uh, almost 30 five years of my medical practice uh, practicing nutritionally based medicine and uh, to help people get healthy is one of the highest services I know so it's really honor uh, it's really an honor to practice this type of nutritional medicine it's remarkable when I was a young doctor uh, and I was working in emergency rooms and intensive care units and these people are very ill and medications are needed and these are potent medications 
and uh, I would consult with my professors and my other colleagues and say, oh, well, we need to get him on this medication for his blood pressure and this medication for his infection and this medication for his arrhythmia. And, and it was great fun and feeling a great power to be able to use these powerful medications to control symptoms, not really getting to the basic cause of it. And now that 40 years has gone by and I'm working out with the cause of the disease, I, I muse at how the cycle has run full circle uh, and that now the real fun of medicine is, oh, we can get him off that medication, we can take away that pill, we can stop that medication. And so now the fun is getting people off their medications and you know, letting them walk out of my office as healthy people. You, you don't want to spend your life as a medical patient. And, uh, and if you can get out from under that specter, it's a wonderful gift and for that reason um, I'm, I find the uh, less is more when it comes to medications and so my art uh, this time is, is getting people off their pills instead of putting them on them.